Nine-year-old Alejandro Misan was rushed to hospital in Dublin following the attack outside his home in Wexford on Sunday. The following report contains graphic details of Alejandro's injuries that viewers may find upsetting. A funny, popular kid, good at school and loved by everyone. On Sunday, Alejandro Mizan was playing with friends outside his Inescorthy home when he was mauled by a pit bull. Today, his brother Raul spoke of the life-changing injuries the nine-year-old has been left with. Virgin Media News has seen pictures of those injuries, which are too graphic to show. He has no cheeks left here. His lip, he doesn't have any lip left. Um, he's not able, he, he can't talk at all. He just can't talk at all. Um, his face, like this part of his face is completely destroyed. This part of his face, like all of this, it's gone. Like he doesn't have this anymore. So like he only have half of his face, you know? I only half of his face. Like he will be destroyed for life. He really care about how he looks. He always wants, uh, like once a week he wants to get haircut. Like always he wants to look good. He wants to dress nice, you know? And now, when he sees his face, I think this is, it's, it's going to destroy him. It's understood that during the vicious attack, a neighbour intervened using a baseball bat to save Alejandro and stop the dog, which has since been put down. The young boy was airlifted to Crumlin Hospital, where his heartbroken family remained by his bedside. He's asleep at the moment. They put him a tube into his neck so he can breathe. Um, he can't talk. I don't know if he will be able to talk at some, some stage, I, I don't think so. Um, but he, he's able to write, he writes messages, but like he doesn't really have the power to do something now. Raul says the attack has left the family traumatised. Like my mother is in a very big depression, she, since the accident she, she cries a lot. I, I don't think I've seen her a minute without tears in her eyes. She's always crying. My father's the same. A fundraising page has been set up to help Alejandro and his family, who now face a long road ahead in his recovery. Paul Quinn, Virgin Media News.